Last time in Chapter 3. Before the day could begin, the night was spent in camp getting to know the well-spoken and curious wizard, Gale. Unlike some of our more contentious allies, he seems to be a friendlier sort. Upon the next morning, it didn't take long to stumble upon a Githyanki woman who helped us to escape the Mind Flayer's ship. She was caught in a trap set by exiled tieflings and promptly she was freed, telling us of her people's methods to purifying these parasites put into our heads. Hearing of a druid's grove from those tieflings, we made our way to it, only to discover a band of adventurers outside the gates, a pack of goblins and their minions attacked. Together with the grove's defenders, they were quickly slain. The leader of that small band had a contentious exchange with Zevlor, the leader of that group of exiled tieflings. They were being hosted by the druids at that grove. According to Zevlor, they were to be kicked out soon and left to die to the unending waves of monsters beyond the grove's gate. Further inside, we met Will, the Blade of the Frontier, who also fought at the gate. He was infected by the parasites too, and it survived the ship's landing. He decided to join us in a search for the cure. Towards the center of the grove were the druids, led by Kagha, a vicious woman who wanted to see every outsider expunged from her circle's home. Paulson, their normal leader, was taken by the goblins when the adventurer's party left him alone. Under her leadership, they planned to also make the grove vanish, and one tiefling girl attempted to steal an idol of Sylvanas, a core component of that ritual. Thanks to a bit of convincing, the girl was saved from a terrible fate, and now we continue our story. Thankfully, I'm no longer poisoned, or I would have died eventually. Now, Asterion's in my party because I need someone who's able to pick a lock. It's very important that we do that. Right over here, Kaga's chest. He's got the tools, so I know he's able to do it. Alright, here we go, lockpick. And we are inside. We've got a half-torn note, a bloodstone. Anyone can squeeze blood from a stone if the edges are sharp enough, really. And over here, a book. Interesting. I'll take it all. She'll probably be angry. Let's have a brief look now. The book's spine is limber from overuse. The corner of one page is folded inwards. Balance is a myth. Where any clan treads, nature struggles. Unity is a fiction. Men of mere flesh seek only to tame beasts and raise flora. We are the thunder, and we are the rain. We shatter mankind, and we grow new life in its place. Well, that explains a lot about her. Now, what's over here? The marks crisscrossing the page don't look scribed so much as slashed. Kaga, Swamp Dogs, Tree, Meet Me, Alone, Olodon. Wait, I know that name. There's a rat over here. Ren, Pinta, Olodon. Strange. Very strange. I can't talk to the rat. No, I can't do that. I've got over here one scroll of animal friendship. Nope, I can't use it. Alright, let's go talk to Kaga. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Absolutely. Only a monster would threaten a child. Yes, you would say so. I know your kind. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus and the rite has resumed. We will seal the grove. Free from harm. Free of intruders. Let me tell you something. The Viper is all about instinct. You should have more intelligence. Don't make it so simple. Now, Zevlor believes his people will perish on the road. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Zevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. You need to calm down. But I'll go talk to him. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed and the Grove forever shrouded. You need a vacation. Far, far from here. Alright. Let's go now. We've got to leave. I know I've got to go talk to Volo, and I'll probably sell a few items that our rogue has. 
So we'll see about doing that too. I think it's a good idea. All right, we're back at the pool. Who else can I talk to over here? A few people, but Volo would be the main one. They're busy committing to this right, so I'm not going to try to interrupt them. All right. Hello there, Volo and Bosk. Ah, my good friend. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came, you saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. I believe you. And there's no overstating my disinterest. I have no time for questions. I'll make it very quick. Hand to heart. Fine. Glory. Now then. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, but remember nothing useful about goblin social order or behavior. Well, here's what you need to know. Goblins were of a rare gem-colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Dragon? There wasn't any dragon. Actually, it was brass, no doubt about it. What I can tell here, he's just here to write an interesting story. Witness mistook obvious silver dragon for brass. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Finally, some information. Yeah, they called out the name like a war cry. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! I'm sure. Goblin superstition, not worth the ink and parchment. Ah, but is superstition all? These goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. Be careful. Goblins aren't known for mercy. But actually, I want to know more about the dragon. Why the dragon? My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. Until we meet again. Okay, a good writing tip, I suppose. Let's keep on moving. What's over here? Whoa. There's just a lot around here that I've not looked at yet. But let's go talk to that mother. Yeah, they're bound to have something for me. Right over here. You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. It's not much, but here. Know that if you call, we'll come running, no matter what. Well, thank you very much. I hope we'll meet again under better circumstances. And no more light-fingered antics, right, Arabella? Yeah. I mean, thank you for helping me. Not a problem. Let's have a look over here. One cherished locket. It'll let me use dancing lights. One evocation cantrip. You know, Gal, I'll let you pick that up for now. Nice. Now, I've got a lot of things to sell, too. Let's move on a bit. Let's head over here. Yeah, there's someone over here playing to squirrels. Well, I do like her. I'm going to listen. Change? No. Damn it! Are you alright? No. I'm moments away from a grisly death. 
at the hands of this bloody song. I can't... Nothing fits, you know? Let me see if I can help. Oh, you moved. She's quick? Mm, it can't hurt. I have her... I have an extra loot, if you want. Yeah, sure. Tell me about that song. My teacher, Lihala. She loved dancing. Had two left feet, mind. I remember waking up one night on the road and seeing her dancing beneath the stars. A huge smile on her face. Thinking of it now, my heart hurts. And my words just seem to crumble like ash. Wait. Words of mine will turn to ash. That's perfect. Well, you are welcome. Not an encouragement. Actually, keep going. That... That it's okay. That I'll be okay. And thank you for everything. All right. That's what your lyrics need to say. Moon. Moon reminds me of your grace. All the love I can't repay. Wait. Well, that was lovely. I hope one day she becomes a party member. I would love to have a bard on my side. That would be ideal, and I like her personality. I came over here. Gail approves, will approves. Sorry. No, don't worry. Cry as much as you need. <laughs> She'd have said the same thing. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. I can still smell it. Well, that is horrific. Now, I'm sure your teacher will be proud to see you now. 
Actually, I like number four a little bit more. Well, you've come up with a fine tribute to her. Lihala said that's why eulogies were important. They were for the living as well as the dead. I'd forgotten what it was like. That itch to perfect a song. The Weeping Dawn will be my gift to Lihala. I've a long way to go. But thank you. I, I needed this. Naturally, I brought our fighter back. I like her. She's got personality. Find familiar. Let's do that. And I think what I want right now is my imp. I'm going to call him Empy. There we go. Now he's out. Isn't he adorable? Wait. Singing? You're right. It's beautiful. That could be what then? Harpies or sirens, really? Oh dear. We're about to have a battle, I think. So, Shadowheart, why don't you lead the way for now? Yeah, there's a small child. Kid, you need to get away right now. We'll try to help him if we can. Shh. Listen. You shouldn't be standing out in the water. It's dangerous. Don't you hear it? It's so peaceful. It's really not. I don't hear anything. Come back to shore. No, no. It's just a bit of water. I only want to listen. Just a little closer. Yes, everything's gonna be fine once I get there. It's really not. Okay, I've got to move now. We've got a combat scenario. Gel, you're going first. Okay, how many do we have around here? Oh, there's one. One here. Two, three, four harpies. That's a lot of harpies. Well, I've got to do something, huh? All right. First off, I don't want to die. That's part one, sure. I'm going to, I suppose, jump. How far can I jump? Not that far, it seems. Yeah. I'll get as far as I can. Now, what about a good magic missile? A guaranteed hit. Oh, it's way too good. Let's do it. Torment. They all hit, and now that Harpy is taking a lot of damage. Even better, I'm not gonna use poison. I don't need that cantrip. You'll wait here. Now, Empy, I want you to move up too, buddy. You've got what? Hide, dash, and fly. I do want you to fly around. Come over here. Invisibility? Yeah, do that. Why don't you get a little bit closer later, huh? Become invisible. Great. We'll just move him a little bit closer. And he's out there. <laughs> now, what are you going to do, Harpy? You flew right in. Good. And you couldn't hit. Even better. Now they're trying to stone us. All right. I've got my fighter right here. Here's what we need to do. Menacing attack. Yeah, do it. You missed. Really? That's a shame. You know what? Use your surge. Strike again. 12 damage. Now it is nearly dead. All right. I could shove you. There we are. Take that. Enjoy. All right, kid. I need you to get out of here. Or you can punch the harpy. That would be hilarious. Let's see here. I've got my staff. What about my blast? Oh, I see. A 70% chance to hit, but I did not hit. That's okay. You know what? Shove again. Because I don't like you. Now, I'll end my turn. Another rock. As long as you're not trying to kill the child. Alright, that harpy's right up there. I might be able to make my way over to it later on. Let's finish off the harpy. One dead. Nice work. Okay, do we need to heal anyone? Yeah, her. I suppose. Take you. Well, small child, you nearly died. That's okay. I'm going to take care of you. Back over to Gel. So I wonder, can I put one to sleep? That would be great. It's out of sight right now, though. So that is not great. Here's what I'll do then. I could always, let's see, not shove. I could jump over. Let's jump a little bit closer just for fun. I can hit again. 
Magic Missile is way too good in my current situation. Look at all that damage. Guaranteed damage is great damage to me. All right. I want you to move up here. That way, if I need a guaranteed hit, hey, you can do it for me. But you can wait there for right now. Perfect. Back to you. Alluring Song. Oh, dear. All right. I can't make it up there right now. That's a shame. I wonder, though, can I jump up there? I can! Great! Oh, now you're in trouble. Look at those hops, man. Pushing. No, I want to do another menacing if I can. 10 damage and frightened. She is scary. Lowering song. All right. Did you get it? She killed it. Ha ha ha. Even better. Okay. Now, my friend, you could jump again. So you shall. We could use sleep, I suppose. Let's do that. Concentration broken. All right. Impy, why don't you go after that one right over here? You could always sting. I do like poison damage. Ambush! Nice. All right. Why don't you fly? Eh, you're fine there. I hope you're fine there. All right. Jump. A transmutation spell. She'll be able to jump much further. So... Oh my god. You can jump over... You're kidding me. <laughs> Let's do it. Holy crap! Now I know what I want. I want that spell for all of my main characters. Let's move up again. I've got my blast, but they're all pretty far away. Hey, I did hit her. And she fell really, really far. Not bad. Okay, I can end my turn. Come over here, Harpy. What can you do? Another luring song, really. That's a shame. Oh, trust me, I have had fun using Harpies before. They are classic, really. So I'm going to go after that Harpy now. It's very far away. Let's see, how am I going to handle that one? I'm going to jump again, I suppose. I'm going to jump up. And I'm not going to use my mage armor. I suppose I could, but I don't really need to. Sleep would be nice. Another good sleep, but it's out of sight currently. All right. What about you, buddy? I want you to go down here, I think. Yeah, let's go. My imp is so good. Oh, you missed. Shoot. That's fine. Oh, it woke up. It's back. Where's it going now? Ah, oh, still trying to stone gal. As long as you don't leap off of a cliff, okay? Oh, that's so much fun. That they shall. Okay, we're jumping up again. And I'm going to use over here another sleep. I could do that, yeah. That's out of sight, so I can't use it on that one. Magic missile again, or a fire bolt. Let's use a fire bolt. Four damage. I'll take four damage. Back to my imp. Okay, claws are fine, but no, I want to use sting. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. That's a decent amount of damage. You know, having that extra imp was a good call. That's a great new friend for me. So you've moved back over there. Very well. I'll take care of you. Seven damage on him. He's going to have to be healed up soon. He is quite hurt right now. She's at least getting closer to it. Though we've lost a lot of characters currently. It's not good. It's really not good. Okay, here's what I'm going to do then. Sting. Another miss. That's unfortunate. Oh, they got him. Now, can I reach you? I can't quite reach you. I know that much. What about jumping? I can jump. Not enough space. Let's get over here. Perfect. All right. Over to my ranged weapon. A miss. But we are in range now, which means I'll be okay, I think. Let's go up to help him. Let's try to help him. I've got over here healing word. Now he's back up. He's okay now. All right. After that, I 
Can't use my flame. Not there. That's unfortunate. Guiding bolt still too far away. I think what I'll do for now then, I could use cure wounds. He's pretty beat up. Just way too far. So I'm going to take, I suppose, resistance. Yeah, we'll do that. Back to his turn. Magic Missile. I know I used it a lot, but it's important to just get rid of them quickly, as quickly as I can. And you'll jump up. You're all about hopping. Back over to my Imp again. Concentration broken. Nice work. Now you're in trouble. Look who's over here. I have a higher chance of probably hitting melee, I would imagine. Let's go hop by it. That was a tough battle. Classic D&D, &D, though. Failing your rolls when you don't need to fail your rolls. Let's go pick up what we can. One skull. All right, let's move. A wooden chest? We'll have to rest up for sure. Ooh, good. A valuable. I could use more money. I spent a lot of money getting new spells for Gel, which I'll probably change out later. I'm going to really think about what I want, but... Small child. Let's have a chat. Hold on. I'm going to loot every harpy that I can for sure, but let's see. They probably won't have too much. Uh, are they gone? Yeah, they're gone. Are you all right? No. Yes. I mean, I don't know. That was traumatizing. Okay. Go back to your parents. There's worse in the wild than harpies. They're, they're gone. Now there's just mole. She'll be so mad. I didn't get the gold from the nest. I got to go. What now? Wait, um, you should meet Mole. She'll be grateful you helped me. Find a boy called Donny. Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. Donny? And here I thought I was going to leave the camp. All right. I'm going to pick up what I can around here. I'm glad she was able to just jump wherever. That was nice. Let's see. The nest. Would that be it? Over here, maybe. I don't know. Let's jump up. It's a very quick way to get around. Nothing there. Yeah, I'm going to look around. And here's a bunch of bodies up there. I don't know where else to go, really. But I'm going to look around and loot every body. I doubt there's too much of note, but I should still check. That seems like the right thing to do. I'm glad I pushed that harpy over here because I found a new area. Also, I can't wait until there's more falling damage because falling damage would have killed quite a few enemies just by me pushing them off of a ledge. There we are. I found it. I had a feeling it had to be around here somewhere. Let's see what those harpies were hoarding. Oh, a ring of color spray. Bloodstone and bone. I'll take it all. Now, we've got to go find that small child. That way we can go to the dragon's lair. I have no idea what that's all about, but I intend to find out. So back off to the druid's grove we go. Donnie, isn't it? I want to see the dragon's lair. He nods, then reaches for a concealed hatch. Hey, thank you. <laughs> what a strange kid. Hello? Me too. His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away, as if it hurts to look at you. Kind of looks like me. Hope he's not my kid. Oh well. Now about that door. A tiefling hideout, huh? I got that ring, I just need to know what's happening down here now. Yeah, there's a few tieflings to talk to. It's rather spacious too. Hey, kiddos. There's Mole. Well, look who's come to visit. Mercon says you got him out of a tight spot with some harpies. Gotta say, I'm impressed. You saved Arabella from the druids. Don't know what those bastards would have done. They would have killed her. Happy to help. And we're happy to be helped. Now, what can I do for you? What are you doing down here? Making sure we're ready to leave when the time comes. Thought you might need help. I do, as a matter of fact. 
Revenge. You saw what those bastards that run the place were doing to Arabella, scaring the precious might. I want to steal that big, shiny idol they're all chanting at. I don't want to do that. Now, what will you do with that? The important thing is to get it away from them. That ritual's gonna get us all killed. And we can sell it once we get to the city. Thing like that's got to be worth a small fortune. Yeah, probably. Now, I could help you get it, but my time's valuable to me. Sure. When we sell it in the city, I'll make sure you get your cut. I'll see what I can do. Be careful. They look as brittle as old bark. But they're vicious. Anything else? I'll think about it. Do you have anything to trade? I just want to see. Oh, one red apple. Maybe not then. Anything else? No, that's really You've it. Been a friend to us. Come back anytime. Well, that's cool. Normally, I wouldn't intervene, but I'm a little bit upset with how they've been treating a bunch of kids. You got oh, he's having a few issues. All right, we'll leave him alone. We're upsetting the child. And I don't know if there's, like, more to do down here, but they did give me, like, a major quest. I mean, I could, like, clearly jump to a few different locations. Huh, that must be... Ah, oh, that's a little different way in. Right. I was way too large to actually get to it. Oh, calm down. I'm meant to be here. I saved your life. Now, here's a chest. Hold on. I wonder, can you make your way over to it? Yeah, let's try that. Oh, it's very far. I would need to do a long rest and then jump on over. I could always do that later, I suppose. I could do it later whenever I do a long rest. Yeah, we'll come back. Especially if I do steal that idol. It probably has only a little bit of gold. I found one chest and it took me a bit to get to it. It had like 12 gold. I was like, oh, great. Thanks. All right, let's go talk to Zevlor. There's probably more people to talk to. So we'll see. Wait, hold on now. Zoru, I'll talk to you. By Mordai's eyes, another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? You know what? I'm going to let her interrogate him because we need information. And evidently, he's seen one of her kind. Yeah. You should do as she says. Lower. Yeah. She's serious. You better get on your knees fast. You saw another gift. Where? On the road to Baldur's Gate. N near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. No twisting. Kin must have been in a hurry. The map. Show me. Up. You can keep your innards. Okay, we have more information now. Great. I'll talk to her. Your kind proves compliant. A useful trait. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. You know, she's been my buddy. You're a dab hand at interrogations. We might need that skill again. Chuh. A shell so thin requires little to crack it. The teethling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. I really agree. <laughs> Let's see. Insight. Are her intentions sincere? Watch closely for signs of deceit. Let's try it then. Target of 10. I passed. Lazelle's eyes drift downward. Something is off. Good to know. Can I enter her mind? Let's find out. Target of one. I'll try. 
Hey, somehow I did it. You see yourself through Lazelle's eyes. To her, you are already a mind flayer. A monster in all but appearance. Something stirs deep within you. Hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. Are we finished? Yeah, I think we'll make it. No, we'll be finished. I'm not going to say that. I don't like how you look at me. I see you as you are. What do you think is of no concern to me? What do you mean, purification? The Kresh holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. Okay. I've learned a lot more then. Let's go talk to Zevlor. I've got to. I've got no choice. Now, what about all of you? I could chat with them again, I suppose. Hello, Leah. Those goblins will rule the day they chose to tangle with this grove. You and I will do some good here. I can feel it. I agree. Sure. Why not? All right. We're going back. And I'll think about that idol. I haven't made my choice yet. I'm not just going to take it right now. I've got jobs to do. Lots of jobs to do. Okay, the secluded chamber. There you are. Sevlor. Let's have a chat. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? It is. Your people need to leave, I can help, or can you delay the ritual? You saw what they were willing to do to a child just for trying. It's Corga's influence. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. Agreed. Then why don't you get rid of her? A low thought. But I'd be lying if I said I hadn't considered it. But the druids would slaughter us. We'd have to get close to Corga, within striking distance. I can't manage that, but they've already let you pass once. Yeah, I'm not some murderer for hire, though. I'm not going to do that one. It doesn't sit well with me, either. But to get these people to safety, there's nothing I won't do. You'd be well rewarded for the risk. But if that won't sway you, there's nothing more to discuss. What about goblins? Our time grows short. If Korga won't abandon her madness, then we'll have to try the road, goblins or no. Should have gone down a different route. Okay, I've been asked to escort you out of here. So, Korga's twisted your mind as well. Please, just listen. Sending us out there is a death sentence. But there is another way. What do you know about the man they call the Blade of Frontiers? He's my buddy. The monster hunter, what about him? He showed up just before you arrived. His skills are legendary. But even he advised against facing the goblins head on. He proposed another way. He believes the goblins will scatter if we kill their leaders. But he needs help. You've proven yourself a capable warrior. I'm sure he could use you. That's true. I'll see what I can do. Everyone in this camp depends on it. Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. Okay, good. That's what I wanted. I wanted to go hunt down goblins, not to murder Kaga. You're the one who helped at the gate. Glad to have another sword. <sighs> we might need it. Right, okay. Anything here for me? Just a bunch of books. Ooh, I do want that map. I do want that map. And here's a backpack. Very handy, for sure, for carrying a lot of nonsense. You know what? I'll pick it up. That's my backpack. Thank you. All right. I suppose we can go now. What a beautiful location, but we can go now. Wait, wait, wait. What's up here? Another ladder. Where does that lead? I'm pretty curious about that. Let's go. All right. Zevlor. Got, who else? That idol, a twisted tree, a patrol. We've got so much to do. Oh, food. Lots of food. I don't really need that food, though. Let's go up. I just want to know where that leads to. Ah, okay, right over here. That's interesting. Way up here. Here's another backpack and another tiefling. All right, I'm going to go head out to the front gate. 
Let's talk to her first. I used to think the goblins would kill us the second we set foot outside. But after hearing what you did at the gate, well, I still think they'll kill us. But at least we can put up a fight. Yeah. Fight and win. There's optimism and then there's stupid, hun. Plenty of us fell to monsters already. I don't see the rest of us lasting long out there. But if you're so sure we will, why not put a little gold on the line? Yeah, sure. You have an odd sense of humor. But actually, how are you going to take my gold if you're dead? I'm sure you're good for it. Just leave the gold on my corpse. After seeing you at the gate, I'm sure you'll last longer than us. It's very grim. I won't waste my time. No? Shame. I thought you might enjoy a little fun. Be safe out there. Whatever comes your way. No, I get it, having that sense of humor to deal with what's happening out here. I totally get that. So now, let's go head out. Like I said before, we've got things to do, places to be. It's now time to get a move on. Let's go. We're finally out of the gates. This is what we'll find. There's a lot of exploring I'm going to do. By all means leave if I am so distasteful. I'd rather not turn my back on you, if it's all the same. Those two are not getting along very well. Understandable. Oh, hold on. A dead body over here. Interesting. Let's check it out. People up ahead. Something's wrong. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please stay with us. I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows, marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. Interesting. You know, his wound looks deep. I might be able to help. Let's try it out. A target of 10. And I rolled an 18. Nice. He's hurt badly. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do... I'm watching you. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Oh, I see. I'm going to hold his stare. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenner. New recruits. Yours to Shepard. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. Edwin. Ed. Please. He's with the Absolute now. You're. You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Interesting. You know, tell me about the Absolute. What? Are you... Are you testing us? Sure. The Absolute is our goddess. She's going to rip down the old world order, start a new one. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well, you will firstly, Trussel. You don't need me to explain that. A true soul like you has been chosen by the absolute you speak with her voice and when the time comes the true souls you will rule that fellow had a tadpole in his head and they consider him blessed chosen what madness is this okay you know what i might as well pretend to really know about what they're talking about a crude summary you have more to learn of her faith i'm sorry True soul, I only repeated what I thought I knew. It seems the Absolute still has a great deal to teach me. Yeah, sure. Now, I'm looking for a druid. I don't know any druids. Okay, that was brief. You know, you're alive, but why are you out here? We know that all too well, sir, but the Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. Okay, tell me more. We don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. Right. Forget the owlbear. 
You're still alive, so go. Well, and, and just leave Ed. I suppose, I suppose he'd want us to go on. Find a way to honor his sacrifice. May the absolute guide us. Good idea. Poor Ed, he didn't make spoke it. spoke of the absolute. Same as that goblin, Sazza. Curious. Sounds like trouble. Only a bit. Let me check his body. Shaft of a broken spear. Interesting. The man is dead. But something shifts beneath his features. A glistening tadpole emerges. Slithering up past a sightless eyeball. The same as the creature behind your eye. Oh, I hate it. I'm gonna try to crush it. One squeeze should do it. But you stop short. How could you think of harming something so beautiful, so pure? Easily. Alright, can I make my roll? Let's find out. A target of 10. Come on. 18, all right. The tadpole plops to the ground. Now is your chance to stomp it into the dirt. But it's too precious, too sweet, isn't it? Disagree. All right, concentrate and destroy to one swift movement. What's my target, 10? Come on, one more roll. 10, I made it, barely. You raise your heel and crush the parasite into the ground. Intense regret washes over you, churning your stomach. Perfect. I'm glad that happened. Okay, we can keep on moving on. What's over here? Saving throw. Ensnared. Oh, I see. Okay. This so-called true soul carried a tadpole. Their absolute is no god. It is a geich deception sown by the parasites devouring their minds. That such a thing lives inside me is unbearable. I get it. Let's see here. It does disgust me. Is this voice the same as we heard aboard the ship? Perhaps. Shared delusion is not a conventional symptom. The Mind Flayers have a plan for these true souls. Which means they've a plan for us. True. Alright, let's get a move on. I've yet to do a true long rest in quite some time, but I think that's okay. What's over here? Leather boots. Hey, new boots! I love getting shoes. They're right here, though. Yeah, here's an open coffin. Weird. Huh. I wonder what could be around here. Anything at all? Maybe. I'm gonna keep on moving. I found some tracks. Very deep tracks at that. Alright, so we know all about that. And up here, there's even more room to move. We'll go in there in just a moment. I just want to have a look around. See what they have around here. There's always more stuff to look at. Always more stuff to look at. Like, here's some blood. Oh! And a dog! Let's go say hi. Your owner died. That's sad. Reach out to pet him. Okay. Intimidation. I would have a better chance at passing. Plus three from charisma and plus two from proficiency. Let's try it out. A target of five. Come on. 20? Hey! Sorry, boy. I get it. I'll take a closer look at him. Around his neck is a collar etched with a name. Scratch. You're okay, Scratch. With a deep, heartbroken whine, the dog bows his head. Okay, I'm going to pet him. Who's a good boy? Oh, there we go. Follow me, Scratch. He whines, but remains rooted by the corpse's side. I get it. 
Hold out your hand so it can follow your scent to camp. That'll work. And he'll be able to join me later. Alright, leather boots over here. And some letters. Let's go check out the letters. A tough letter. Nine fingers. I won't come back to the city, not while you have your thugs looking for me. If you want the debt paid, you'll have to trust me and collect it yourself. Go to the graveyard and look for where M. Kerwin is buried. Get digging and you'll find the valuables. M. Kerwin. Okay. That's one. And over here, a soft letter. Davin. It's a boy. He's healthy and perfect. I've named him after his father. Come back and see us as soon as you can. Alright. Let's have a look over here, too. We've got a personal note. Gomwick. Be doubly careful on the way back to Baldur's Gate. I've received more reports of attacks on travelers throughout the region. Interesting. Postmaster General Donzo. Well, that seems handy. Now, let's go to camp. It's about time. It's been a long day, you know. And I want to chat with our friends. Who are you? My, my, what manner of place is this? A patch of ground to call home. Some rest for the wicked, after all. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that, love, was that. <laughs> They do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Okay, interesting. Pleasure, I'm Valen Vega. Charmed, I'm sure. In more ways than one. We should have a chat, you and I, but not here. No, this... Encampment is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. There. Middle of somewhere. Interesting. Nice decor. The house of hope. Where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed. Lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. Okay. What makes you say that? Call it a ninth sense. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Yeah, you know what? I like him already. What makes you think I need saving, though? Come now. Why play hard to get when you're in deep over your tadpole head? One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. Interesting. You know what? I'll do anything. I need to think it over, though. Take all the time you need, but make up your mind before you're counting down with tentacles. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. I like him already. And if I want to take this deal, how would I find you? I bet he'll find me. I'll be around, watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice, juicy breath.
brain. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. That's fair. <laughs> I'm back. Hey, I think I want to get up though. All right. Let's have a chat then. Hold on, hold on. I need to look around here. Wait, he's here. The bony guy. Let's go chat with him. What the hell is he doing here? In a map of Sword Coast. Always need it, right? Yeah. Here we are. We meet again. As predicted. I shall be here in thy camp. For whenever thou hast need of my services. Interesting. What can you offer me? A mending of the threads between life and death. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. Fascinating. That is very powerful magic. Because it is my calling, there is little else to explain. Interesting. What would it cost me? A matter of coin. Huh. All right. What if I don't have that coin right now? Then I shall wait here patiently until it is acquired. What a strange ally. I don't mind. Only 200 gold. I can make that quickly. Oh, I can make that quickly if I need to. Let's have a look around here. A storage box. We've got a workbench. We've got a few decent things. It's actually not a bad camp when you really look at it. Some bed rolls. I don't feel safe here, that's for certain, but hold on, let's have a look. I'll take that Malachite, and we'll go talk to Shadowheart real quick. Bloody hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? Interesting. I'm going to read her thoughts, if I can. I'll try it out. Target of 10. Come on. Ah, I didn't make it. That's okay. Uh, uh, I can feel you. Get out of my head. Do that again, and I'll leave you to bleed out in this wilderness. Understand? And watch out for Raphael. He's better at getting into people's heads than you are, you ass. Whoops. Okay, that didn't go well. That's okay. <laughs> Alright, there's Gel. We've got Asterian, Will over there, and actually our testy friend. This devil, Raphael, flaunts his paltry wings as if he wants to impress us. You saw the red dragon slaying his infernal kin above Hell's fires, did you not? Next to a dragon, the devil's a gnat. When I am Kithrak, I will take my queen Vlacketh his head as a trophy. Oh man, what does that mean? Githyanki knights, the riders that chase the Nautiloid. They are the commissars and enforcers of my queen Vlacketh's will. Vlacketh bestows no greater honor. To wield a Kithrak silver sword is my destiny. I will earn my queen's favor, and I will conquer every layer of hell should she command it. Oh boy, why were these knights here chasing the Mind Flayer's ship? The Geich are my kind's mortal enemy. It is not unusual for the Kithrak to give chase. To penetrate the Hells, this is unusual. But I'm not one to question the wisdom of my queen. I can see but to the horizon. Vlacketh's sight pierces the many planes. Yeah, good to know. All right. Well, we shall call it here for now because we have so much more to do. But we'll be doing it later, not right now. Yeah. Let's go talk to Will, though. That seems to have popped up for me. The devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales. Don't you think? Yeah, sure. 
Get to the point. Do not trust a devil. Is that plain enough? Refuse him. No matter how tempting the offer, no matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you, the cost's always too great. I'm a warlock. You're a warlock. We know about that now. Okay, he spoke of a cure. Take a single step towards him, and he'll dog you the whole journey. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure, but the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. Will's a pretty cool guy, so I do trust his input. <laughs> now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Well, this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we won't find anything. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. That's true. If we don't know what we're walking into, that bridge will collapse under us. The devil has a plan. He's playing with us. Reminds me of Kazadun. Taunting his slaves with hope when he knew the game was rigged. You're a warlock. You understand how dangerous the wrong deal can be. That's true. He's only a Cambian. We can handle him. Can we? Because you've got it all figured out, I'm sure. You know who tampered with the parasite and why, and what they have planned for us. And of course, you know why we're interesting enough that a devil, pardon, a Cambian, would proposition us. Because if you don't know that, you may as well sign over your soul now. We may escape whatever web we're trapped in, but until we know what's going on, this Raphael has us exactly where he wants us. Oh boy. You are a pain. Do you feel as flattered as I do? A Cambion came courting us. Yeah. He was a Cambion, was he? That makes him half human. Quite right. Either Daddy had a tryst with a succubus or Mummy with an incubus. What they lack in kind heartedness, they make up for with horns and tails. Still, don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation, it merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us, badly. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. And that's why I like Gel. All right, let's see here. But what is it that this devil wants so very badly? Our souls. I suspect that's but his opening offer. Let me play the devil deals advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. Right. Okay. Can I chat with her again? I'll try one more time and then we'll go. Something the matter? I want to talk about all that's happened to us. Fine. What's on your mind? Sure. Okay. You must have thoughts about our little stowaways. Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. I'm not too hopeful that a gith crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. Yeah, we'll try it out. How am I holding up in your estimations? You're not the kind of company I'd keep willingly, but all things considered, you'll do. All right, what do you think of the Druid Grove? What's there to think about? Just a group of desperate people at each other's throats. Hardly a unique occurrence these days. Besides, the one person who might be able to help us isn't even in the grove. We should look for Halsin, not waste time poking about his abode. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Let's get to know each other a little bit more. So that's to say you'd like to pry a little. You do seem like the type, I must say. True. Let's see here. Yes, I'm the type to pry, or are you the type to answer? My, look at you. Straight as an arrow and right to the point every time. This isn't the tadpole I'm speaking to, is it? The personality seems a little lacking. Oh, you got me. Let's see here. You've got me, I am the mighty tadpole. This body is my vessel. And that's the vessel you chose. I jest. It's good to know you're not entirely without a sense of humor. Shall we? Yeah, sure. That'll work for now. Let's move on. I might actually move Will into the party. Two warlocks, but it can all work. All right, we have a lot to do. We finally got to chat a bit. Here's my good buddy, Impy. 
Impy and I are going to lead the way to victory later on.